welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. It's pretty small, but with some stuff that I needed. So I thought I would share, kind of hoping that they get some fall stuff out soon because, or some different stuff. My stores aren't really getting much new stuff, but I got a few things. All right, so let's dig in. I bought two, of, it's a two pack. These are the Sure Fresh Large. They hold 7.56 cups. That's a large container. I'm taking, or I take salad some days to lunch, so I pick these up to hold my salad. Because I like to, I may only fill it up a little bit, but I put dressing and then I put the lid on and I shake to get all the dressing distributed. So I grabbed two of those so I can pack my salads this week for lunch. I also went to Aldi, so you're going to want, or not Aldi, um, where did I go? Costco. Oh, I forgot my coffee today is some iced coffee. I made it. I just put it in my Starbucks cup. I got iced tea this morning. Like you do, I went to Target with my girl. Sarah was here. We went to Target, and they have a Starbucks in my Target, so I grabbed uh, iced tea, and then this afternoon, I just made some cold brew. Anywho. Um, I went to Costco. You're going to want to watch my haul. Well, this video is coming out Tuesday or Thursday, so it'll be out Monday. But if you haven't, go back and watch it. I bought the most beautiful New York strip steaks at Costco. I'm going to grill them up. So today's Saturday when I'm filming this. And I'm going to, um, grill them up. And then I'm going to cut it up and make steak salad for the week with some mixed greens that I got at Costco and some vegetables that I got at my little farm stand. So yeah, it's going to be awesome. So you'll definitely want to watch that. But I digress. Hauling. Um, they brought these back out at one of my stores and Sarah wanted some for her vet fruit. I will tell you, I put some blueberries in this thing. I washed them. I stuck them in here and they lasted two weeks. Fresh. I did not have any rotting. I didn't have any mold. Um, if you can see, air gets around them. So Sarah would like, she wanted some of these and I saw them and I picked them up for her for her fruit. And they work great. I don't recommend dishwasher, although I think they say that they're dishwasher safe. It says reusable, great for fruits and veggies, freezer and dishwasher safe. So it is. Um, I'm just very gentle with mine, they're, but they're great and I love them. I have two. Um, I picked up for the dog. This is Dental Life. And these are um, Chewy Porous Texture Helps Clean Hard to Reach Teeth for Luna, her dog. And there's seven chews in here, which is perfect because I don't need more than that when she comes to visit. I just like to have treats for her. It's a name brand. It's Purina. And the ingredients is rice wheat sodium yeah calcium blah 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 made in the u.s and the veterinary oral health council accepted so i'm careful with what i get her obviously we don't i don't buy a lot of i don't buy any rawhide for her and the treats that i do buy her we go through mom first before i give them to her um, but i've seen her eat these before so i grabbed a little and there's seven Choose and these are mini. These are for the little dogs, which she is. I think it was like from five to seven pounds or something. Five to 20 pound dogs it's recommended for, and she's a tiny little girl, so. And these are actually good until November of 2020. And you know, so the, it's a perfect size for me. If you give your dog a lot of treats, it is resealable, but oh, well, let's just see if she likes them. Do you want one, Lana? I know, Aunt Lori got you. Come on, come here. Now, will she eat it or not is the question of the day. She tends to hide them from the cats. She thinks the cats want her treats. They do not want her treats. Nope, she's gonna eat it. You eat your treats. So she's eating her treat. Just like to have them. The cats get a lot of treats and I like to have treats for her as well. So I grabbed those. I thought that was a good, a good purchase for her. Um, I picked up. Oh, ooh. I found two of these. 
chewy fudge brownies, I make, and these are extra thick and fudgy, I make something called a brookie. And it is a brownie on the bottom with a chocolate chip cookie on the top, and they bake together, and I make them in muffin tins. My coworkers love them, and Wednesday, this week, the 3rd of July, we're having a like baking contest, kind of bring some sweets to work thing, so. I'm gonna make brookies because I've had some requests for them. So I grabbed two of these, which is a good price for a dollar for the Duncan Hines. Um, I don't know when the Best Buy date is. I know I checked it when I was in the store. Oh, October of 2020. And that's a great price for a dollar and it's a full box, fam, you know, full size. Excuse me, so I grabbed two of those and that should make two or four dozen brookies I can't remember but so I grabbed two boxes of those um, and then what I do is I go to GFS which is called Gordon Food Services it's a restaurant so they sell everything in bulk but you don't have to have a membership and they sell this really good chocolate chip cookie dough and I buy it because it's frozen and it's the perfect size so I buy that I combine it with that and it's delicious um, and also for my co-workers and I'm not sure when I'm gonna share this with them but I found the 10 pack, there was one left in my store. This is a 10 pack of brownie, chocolate brownie, mug cake. This is good until November of 2019, it's best by November of 2019. But what you do is you empty it into a mug, you add two tablespoons of water and stir. So this is something I feel like we can make at work for them. So I'm gonna share these with my coworkers because obviously I don't eat these, but I was super excited to find a 10 pack for a dollar. That's 10 cents a piece for a fun little work treat to share with my coworkers. So I'll bring those in to them and I'll do something fun. Maybe I'll find a little note that I can add on to it or something, I don't know. Who knows, but that was all the foodie items. I don't buy a ton of food at the Dollar Tree, not because I'm opposed to it, they just don't have a lot to offer for my diet delicious okay now it's back to school time I know crazy right um I think the kids just got out like two weeks ago but so I school shop for my little cousins like I help their mom out because I love doing it Sarah and I and it makes her life a little easier and I'm all about that so she's got a high school He's my little cousins. He's 16 and taller than me. And his sister, Addie, she's 12. And um, so the high school kid, I just, you know, for Riley, we mostly just get pens and notebooks and things that kids need. And then if he needs something specific, she'll tell me or she'll get it. Not a big deal. For Addison, we like to color coordinate and buy all the cute things um, for her. And what I do is every weekend I go and I pick the sales. So if... Staples is offering 10 cent notebooks. I'll go and buy a dollar's worth of notebooks. So it just keeps costs down and it's super fun. And I also help Sarah because she's a teacher and she stocks up on these things too. All of that to say, it's back to school time. And I found these little mechanical pencils for Addison. And I just thought she would enjoy these. There's nothing fancy. They're Jot brand. There is one, two, three, four in here. And they're kind of like a pastel -y ombre rainbow. Um, pen and they are seven millimeter and then they have the leads the refillable leads so and those are also 0.7 millimeter they're equivalent to number two I don't know if Abby has done mechanical pencils yet so we're gonna try out and see if she likes these she will get lots of pens and pencils I just saw these and thought of her and thought they would be super cute and um, she'll need lead to go with them so I grabbed that that is the first back to school purchase for Miss Addison um, this year is going to be special because um, typically I just buy the list. I package it all up and right before school starts I take it over to their house and she gets to look through it and it's exciting. But this year because she's older, what we're going to do is buy all the boring stuff. I'll go get all of her notebooks and folders and everything. And then Sarah and I and maybe Debbie, depends if she's working or not, will grab Miss Addison and we will go and let her pick out some pens and notebooks and things that she would like to have. We'll give her a little budget and let her maybe decorate her locker or something, just some fun stuff. But it's just something we do and we love it because we love them. Pens, pencils. Um, I also grabbed some for myself. I like these with the rubber. 
Um, I use pencils for my bullet journal. If I'm going to draw something, I like to draw in pencil first, outline it in marker, and then erase the pencil. It's just how I operate. And so I needed some mechanic, more mechanical pencils. So I grabbed some for me. And these were just cute and bright and summery. And I have some of this lead already, so I didn't get myself some. But these are fun, and I love these rubber grips. I like a thicker pencil to write with. So I grabbed those for me. Um, yes. Now for my, oh, these. If you have not used these, these are amazing. I keep them in my purse or in like a bag. And when I travel or if I'm on the go, these are awesome. It says they're for your hands and face. They have vitamin E and aloe. Um, but I will tell you, they came in handy when I needed them. So, um, and they're nice and they don't burn my skin and they're really kind of soothing. And so, yeah, I keep these handy. I grab them every once in a while just to have on hand. In my gym bag, like after the gym, I wipe, wipe my face down if I'm running back to work, if I do like a quick walk, you know, or something. Um, but yeah, these are great. I love them. I highly recommend them. There's 20. They are good quality and they're great. So I bought pack those for me just to have because I was running low. Okay. The last stuff that I have. Hi. She wants a treat. Is to go for, which I'm going to feed them dinner in a minute. Is to go for the um, beauty advent calendar that I'm putting together. And like I said before, it's July. I'm just buying product. <laughs> the cat's on the move, and that just upsets her. She thinks the cat's going to get something that she's not. And he's not, girl. He's not getting anything. Him's good. Um, I'm going to buy it, and then when it, I'll, you know, the little things, and when it's time to put it together, I'll make a decision. What goes in it, what doesn't, and the rest of the stuff, I'll just give it to her. Duh. Okay, so what I found at my store was this compact mirror. And it says, I love you. And I thought that's perfect for a purse, um, on the go, and it goes with my beauty theme. So I grabbed her that. And I grabbed some of this, and I'm not sure if this is for me or her because I love this Dove. This is the beauty cream. I actually can use this on my face. That's how dry my skin is. It's the pink ones with a little lighter than the one that comes in the blue. I love this stuff. So this might be for me to keep in my purse because in the summer I get super dry i.e. right now I'm super dry so I grabbed that um, and then I found at my store the eye glow little three packs of nail polish I grabbed this one for summer which I think I'll use because I love pink in the summer and this one I think is more like winter colors and I think this will go in her beauty kit and it's like a sparkly purple pink and a raspberry color so i grabbed two of those um we'll see what the quality is i don't know this eye glow product but it's not dollar tree brand so i'm not really sure what it is but i grabbed two of those um one for her one for me and that is it for this haul like i said oh my shirt's driving me nuts today um, there's not a whole lot going on at my Dollar Tree yet. They're bringing out some school stuff. Um, but I will tell you, I get better deals at Target, at Staples, at Office Depot, at Walmart, um, for all the things that, you know, we'll need around here. Her list will be out shortly, I'm fairly certain, and we will get going on that. All right, everybody. Well, you have a good night good day I guess it comes out at 8 in the morning so have a good day and I will talk to you later